All right, so let's look at the voltage requirements for our folded cascade amplifier. So I'm just going to draw it really quickly. All right, so first let's look at what the maximum input voltage can be on transistor uh, on the uh, input terminals, V uh, plus and V minus. So here we have M1, and this feeds directly into M5. So let's look at what the max voltage for M1 can be. So we know that we have the condition VGD must be less than a VTH. And we know that the drain voltage on transistor M1, the max it can be, is V, so, so we have VG, which is equal to VI, minus whatever the drain voltage is, and we know that that drain voltage is equal to VDD minus a VOV5. And we know that this has to be less than a VTH. So here we can see that the maximum voltage at the input, VI, it has to be less than VDD minus a VOV5 plus a VTH. So we can see if we can make VOV5 bigger in magnitude than VTH, we could actually have an input voltage, a maximum input voltage that was higher than the supply voltage, which is good. All right, let's go towards the bottom here through M11. We can see that we need a VOV across M11, so we have, and let's call this instead of V ground, we'll call it VSS. So we have VSS plus VOV11 plus the gate to source of M1, which would be a VOV1 plus a VTH1, has to be less than the input voltage. In other words, we can say that our input voltage VI has to be greater than VSS plus VOV1 plus VOV11 plus a VTH1. Okay, so not too great on the low end. In fact, it's pretty much the same that we'd see for any, uh, for our standard uh, differential pair. All right, now let's look at the output swing. And we can see that our output swing, V out, We need to keep transistor M6 and M4 here in saturation, which means that they need a VOV across them. So for V out, we need to be less than a VDD minus a VOV4 minus a VOV6. Now going down towards VSS, we see that we need to be greater than VSS. Transistor M10 here needs a VOV 10 plus a VTH 10 across it. And transistor M8 here just needs one VOV 8 across it. So we can say VSS plus a VOV 8 plus a VOV 10 plus a VTH 10 is needed.
So our output swing is better than our regular cascode or telescopic cascode circuit, uh, uh, which is good, and our input swing uh, is better than that telescopic cascode circuit. So by folding the transistor, we get better common mode input range and uh, better output range, but we get it at the expense of needing more current. So in the next part of the lecture, we're going to look at a two-stage amplifier. which is also going to require more current, but it's going to give us some more design freedom as well.